All right, so we've got this uh, marine epoxy from Loctite. It's got a two hour setting time, which is important to give us some time to, uh, to work with this here. So let's go ahead and rip this open. Stays on there. I'll have to take the cap off, but I oh, guess not. All right, so we'll pull this out. Just a little bit. And let's throw on some gloves real quick. I don't know how nasty this stuff is. I've heard that this gets really hot, so I don't know how hot. So I've got two paper plate, two paper paper uh, bowls kind of stacked up here. And it says to uh, chop the ends off here. So go ahead and let's go ahead and do that. It says let the air bubbles out. <clears throat> Push this plunger in a little bit, just kind of see what we're working with here. Oh, there right, it's coming up. Hey, look out. It's not an air bubble, that's the actual epoxy. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and squeeze some of this goop in here and uh, stir it up and then jump into the boat. And uh, hopefully this works. Okay, it's kind of cool looking. Let's just goop this out. We're gonna use this whole thing, so I guess we're not saving any of it. All right. There we go, let's mix this up here. Actually, we'll go ahead and jump on the boat for right now. All right, so we've got this uh, marine epoxy from Loctite. It's got a two hour setting time, which is important to give us some time to, uh, to work with this here. So let's go put this open. stays on there. I'll have to take the cap off, but I oh, guess not. All right, so we'll pull this out. Just a little bit. And let's throw on some gloves real quick. I don't know how nasty this stuff is.
I've heard that this gets really hot, so I don't know how hot. So I've got two paper plate, two paper paper uh, bowls kind of stacked up here. Says to uh, chop the ends off here. Let's go, ahead and, let's go ahead and do that. It says let the air bubbles out. plunger in a little bit just kind of see what we're working with here oh it's right, coming up Ew, look out it's not an air bubble that's the actual epoxy so uh, we're gonna go ahead and squeeze some of this goop in here and uh, stir it up and then jump into the boat and uh, hopefully this works. Okay, it's kind of cool looking. Let's just goop this out. Oh, we're gonna use this whole thing, so I guess we're not saving any of it. Let's mix this up here. Actually, we'll go ahead and jump on the boat for right now. So we got a tight fit in here. Essentially, this is the old transducer that no longer works. Um, this is the new one. So what I do is I sanded this area right here. It's kind of uh, rough. But that's it, what it said it wanted. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stick it right there, and hopefully this works. So let's go ahead and stir this up. And we don't want any air bubbles. That's that's key. That's the uh, very important part. And we're gonna apply it to the transducer, and then we're also going to apply it heavily to the floor of the hull and. Uh, Stick the transducer on at a slight angle and press it down and hopefully the air bubbles will work itself out. That looks good. Alright, I gotta set this guy somewhere, so let's try, let's just try it right. Let's try it right here, screen up. Staring my ass the whole time. Alright, so make sure this one is nice and clean, which it is. I already got my wire cable routing. Set. I already know where that's gonna go. So I guess just uh, it's pretty thin. A little more thin than I thought it was going to be. So I'm gonna sort of spackle this on here. Get some good coverage here. And then we're going to apply it. I guess I'll set that down. Just to put a bunch on the hole here. It's pretty runny, so I'm hoping it doesn't all run downhill like 
that might be already doing it. We'll see. All right, go ahead and put this down sort of on an angle. Twist it a little bit and press it down pretty, pretty hard here. I mean, it's like it's like locked in there pretty good. Check the cables. That's gonna sit right there. We're good. All right, so I want this to not move and. I'm gonna get some gold duct tape. Hopefully that's enough to. I mean, it already feels pretty solid, which I know it's not solid, it's just deceiving. Oh, yes, it does move a little bit, so. I just wanna keep this from. Really from sliding downhill, especially. This is super jank. If this works, I'll be <laughs> kind of surprised, honestly. All right. So this cure time is two hours. I think it says three hours on the back of the back of the packaging. It says three hours. Don't move it. Don't disrupt it. Don't do anything. And then 24 hours for a full cure. Um, I'm not going to have any way of holding this down pressure wise. It's on an angle, so I can't really set anything on here. So I'm going to have to rely on luck and this duct tape. So we're see how this goes. Uh, we'll check back in a few hours. Right, it's been about an hour, hour and a half maybe, and definitely slid downhill a little bit but it looks like everything's in place i do see a couple air bubbles tiny air bubbles i don't know if you can see them on the camera or not but it looks like they're working their way up and out which is good so hopefully uh hopefully there's no air under here so we're gonna just leave it for until tomorrow and give it a shot <clears throat> it's uh been 24 hours. Let's pop this stuff off here. It's hard as a rock. So I'll have to trim this off with probably some sort of knife. I think it dissolves with uh, acetone nail polish remover. Uh, or I might just say screw it and leave it. I don't know. It looks like probably a pain in the ass to remove. So uh, <clears throat> it might just be the way it is. So I'm going to run the wire up to the helm and uh, get it ready for a C trial this weekend in a couple days. Hopefully on Saturday. Today's Thursday. So on Saturday, take it out and uh, see how she works.